The Colorado River flows across nearly 1,500 miles, two countries, 30 tribal nations, and seven states. It supports agricultural communities, businesses, cities, and provides carbon-free renewable hydropower across the West while sustaining plant and animal life at every bend in the river. As a Westerner whose family calls the Lower Basin home, I know the importance of the mighty Colorado River and what makes it so unique. Due to climate change, we are seeing the lowest water levels across the Colorado River Basin, the worst mega drought in 1,200 years. The Biden-Harris administration recognized the urgency of this crisis and has made tremendous progress in helping protect the stability and sustainability of the Colorado River now and into the future. The President's Bipartisan Infrastructure Law and Inflation Reduction Act deployed $2.9 billion for 400 projects that will help conserve water, including in the Colorado River Basin. Reclamation is using this funding to evaluate projects that will build long-term system efficiency, like lightning canals, restoring aquatic ecosystems, and increasing water efficiency. There are also two ongoing concurrent efforts to protect the Colorado River Basin. First is protecting the basin through 2026 when the current operating guidelines expire. We released a lower basin consensus proposal to protect critical infrastructure like Glen Canyon and Hoover Dams, conserving up to three million acre feet of water by 2026. Second, we initiated a collaborative, transparent, and inclusive process to develop the next iteration of guidelines and strategies and guide the next period of river operations from 2027 and into the future. For over a century, the Bureau of Reclamation has led with solutions grounded in partnership and collaboration. These principles will continue to guide our work to protect the stability and sustainability of the Colorado River system. The future of the American West depends on it. and we're not done yet.